Welcome to Spatula Review, where each week we examine and compare spatulas for you. This week we are reviewing three non-scratching spatulas, all of them newcomers to the market. Our first spatula is the Sky Blue Folga Dewline Classic. And this is an all-plastic spatula, and as such is the cheapest spatula we are reviewing this week. It did what we required of it minimally, which was be non-scratching. However, it had several problems classically associated with plastic spatulas. The base was thicker than that of most metal spatulas, but on this model the edges were tapered in order to assist the lifting and flipping of food, and this worked reasonably well. The handle was well formed and fit in your hand nicely, and had a standard sized hole for hanging and storing. Cleanup on the spatula was a big problem. It had to be cleaned immediately after use, or the food would be very difficult to remove. However, even cleaning it immediately after use, food would still stick to the edges, and this was almost impossible to remove. During testing, we also ran into some problems. We tried it originally on powdered toast, and this worked fine. But being an all-plastic model, it wasn't sturdy enough for heavier jobs, like punching holes in lids or prying nails. In summary, this spatula is perfect for those of you on a budget. It will do minimally what you require of it. However, for those of you who can afford a better spatula, there are more impressive models available. Spatula Review is sponsored by Spatula City. We sell spatulas and that's all. Our next spatula is the USA Spatula Corp W7, just recently released in America. This spatula does not handle significantly better than the Fulva Dewline. It does look nicer, however it does cost more as well. Unfortunately, the company attempted to skimp on materials in order to save money. This leads to a spatula that does in fact look nice, but could handle much better than it does. It has, as you can see, a metal handle, which is covered by a plastic grip for cool handling. However, the hole in this grip is smaller than average. This leads to problems in storing it on the standard kitchen hook. The base also has many problems. The metal handle extends only a small distance into the base, the rest of the base being a totally unreinforced plastic. This makes it unsuitable for heavier jobs. It also has a similar problem to the Folga Dewline in that the base is thicker than it needs to be. It has tapered edges again and this helps some. Cleanup on this spatula is only slightly better than that on the Folga Dewline and you can probably wait till the end of your meal before cleaning it and still hope to get most of the food off of it. In review, this spatula looks nice in the showroom and feels good. But once you get it home and try and put it to real use, it just doesn't cut it. For those of you out there looking at this model, there are much better spatulas for the money. You're watching Spatula Review. Tune in again next week when we'll be reviewing the Folga Luxpat Contemporary Spatula. The last spatula we reviewed is this Chromspat Chrome Plated Model 01 with Teflon coating and optional pin stripes. The non-Teflon coated model of this spatula is not scratch resistant and therefore we review this, the Teflon coated model. This model has an all metal frame and this makes it good for all purposes. You can use it for driving nails and undoing screws, however these have a tendency to damage the Teflon coating. The handle has an extra large hole making it a snap to put on and remove from any kitchen hook. The spatula also has a reduced size base and a diagonal front end. This combined with the all black Teflon coating give it a really sporty look. However, the diagonal front end does lead to some problems with initial usage. But once you get used to it, you'll find that this spatula works as well or better than most flat fronted spatulas. Cleanup on this spatula is a snap. You can let it sit for a couple days and the food will still come right off. In review, this spatula is for the real spatula file. It's expensive, but if you can afford it, this is really what you should have. To recap, the first spatula we reviewed is the Folga Dewline Classic. This spatula does the job, but provides no fancy features. 
The spatula has a surface area of 9.5 square inches and has a base which is 2 millimeters thick with tapered edges. Cost is $219 at Spatula City. Our next spatula is the USA Spatula Corp W7. This spatula looks much nicer than the Folga Duoline but does not handle much better. The spatula has a surface area of 9.5 square inches and a base which is 3 millimeters thick. The edges are tapered but crudely. This spatula costs $2.99 at Spatula City. The last spatula we reviewed is the Chromspat Chrome Plated Model 01 with optional pinstripes. This spatula handled and performed the best of those we tested today. However, the spatula had a smaller base, only 8.2 square inches. The base is 0.4 millimeters thick, eliminating the need for tapered edges. The spatula costs $5 at Spatula City, $3.99 after factory rebate. 1% APR financing is available. This program was sponsored by Spatula City. We sell spatulas, and that's all. If you've got any questions about spatulas, why don't you write to us and ask? You can find our address in the closing credits to this show.